Hi there, Michelle from Kansas City. I am doing a tutorial on this epic squeeze page that is so awesome. And I am offering this to all of our team members of the Fakata Marketing Group. So this is one of the free tools that you're gonna get. And this is perfect if you have a WordPress website because it is a plugin for a WordPress website. And it is perfect if you want to brand yourself with your own squeeze page. And I'll give you an example. Um, here's one that's just really basic. Um, it's got some text and then an opt-in for their name and email. I believe I have it set up so that whenever they first click on this, yeah, this little thing will do this little ta-da. And this is, um, I have this set up to have, I think, 50% um, see-through or opacity, I believe is how you say it. And I'm going to show you how you can go, you can have an unlimited, you can have unlimited background images. And uh, you can also do one with video. Here's one with video. In this one, I have uh, a little header. And then all I'm doing is I'm giving my testimonial on one of our Hangouts. And this has been really effective to get people to opt in because what they do is they watch this and then they can either, um, I just put this button on here. This is just an image with a link. And when they click on that, it takes them to the Fakata sign up page. But if they want more information, they're not ready to sign up yet, then I tell them that if they want to check out our trainings, I will give them their very our very first training course and they have to put in their email. And I actually need to change that so I can also get their name. And then what's gonna happen is, is it then automatically will forward them to this page which is almost like the previous page, except it doesn't have the opt-in. And in order to do that, you do have to put some, um, just a special snippet of code on your page and that's it. It's really easy to do. And uh, once again, here's the join now button. And so let me give you another example. I have a, a customized squeeze page I did for Advocare reps. And what happens is, is whenever they go to this page and I'm gonna do um, an ad where when they click on it, this is what they see. Hi there. And it will automatically play this video. So I have this video set to automatically play, and then they can go in and put their name and email address, and you can change the, the font on this. You can change the color and the background image. So I'm going to go and show you how I do that. So what you're going to do is on the back of your, for those of you that have a WordPress website, you probably already know this, but really quickly, I'm just going to show you in our dashboard. You're just going to go to your dashboard and you're going to go to plugins and you're going to click add new. And then all you're going to do is click upload and then you're going to have the file. It's going to be a zipped file. Okay. And then you just basically upload that. And once you upload it, you then activate it. And then when you activate it, what's going to happen is, is let's go ahead and I'm going to go and I'm going to create a squeeze page really literally this fast. So I'm going to go to new page. <clears throat> Let me show you how easy and fast this is. And I'm just going to call this demo. This is a demo and this is all the way at the bottom. It's called Epic Squeeze. We're going to activate it. Um, you can use Aweber, um, these others, and I'm not sure if you have any others, how that will work because I use Aweber. So I'm just going to highlight Aweber and I'm going to put the name, as all you do guys is you just put the name of your list and it will automatically, the opt-in will automatically be put on your list. But what's really cool is that whatever the settings are with your Aweber account, it doesn't matter. It This will override it. So the target is whatever page you want this to go to. So <clears throat> I'm just going to put something there. So I've got the name of my list. I've got a target, which is what happens where it's going to take them after they opt in. And so then we're going to go to background. Okay, this is really cool. I don't know what how this does it, honestly. I don't know if it goes out and looks on the internet, but you just type in something like beach or sunset or, you know, uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, you can just type in so many different variations of keywords, and what it does is it goes out there, and it is literally searching for all these different images, and you can pick one. So I'm going to double-click on this one. I'm going to double-click on that. Let's see what happens. There it is, it pulled that. 
make sure it was the one I want. Okay. And, okay, oh, so cool. Sorry, I'm just so excited. <laughs> All right, next you go to style settings and the horizontal, I believe that these are vertical, not horizontal. All right, show name in the field. Yes, I do. Now, this does not ask you if you want to also ask for their phone number. So I don't know if you have the asking for the phone number with your AWeber or whatever, your autoresponder, if it will ask that, but I don't think it will. So that's the only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't allow you to ask for somebody's phone number. Um, this is really cool. This has different font that you can choose. If you can see right here, that's what the font will look like. So I'm just gonna choose something that's pretty easy to read. You can choose the black text on the white background, but I really like the dark background. And then I wanna do like a really snazzy, I'm gonna click the yellow button here. And if you have a custom button that you want, you just upload it to your WordPress blog and then you just put the URL here and it will use that, which is pretty cool. Okay, this is really neat. The ta-da is the one that you just saw where it pops out at you. Um, let me try, let me try the bounce, see what that looks like. The box opacity, let me go ahead and publish this real quick so you at least have an idea of what it's looking like right now. Okay, so far, that's what it looks like, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the opacity style settings. I like it to be about 50%, all right? And then footer text, this is the footer text. This will give you an idea of what this will look like. So let me go ahead and publish it. Oh, I love that. So we've got the background, style settings. Now additional video settings. Audio track and video. I'm not really sure what that is. If I find out, I'll let you know. You can actually start the video from a certain time frame if you have it on autoplay. All right. Um, and look, she already shows that I've had to click. <laughs> and geo settings. By default, it's all countries unless, you know, you only want to target like U.S., United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia. Miscellaneous. Okay, this is really cool. If you forward this, you want to click yes. And what that will do is if they try to exit out of your page, it will have that pop-up saying, wait, do you, you know, before you leave, do you want to stay? And if they click yes, you can literally program it to go to a different page, okay? So I'm going to have it just go to my Zemi account, so it shows all of my social profiles. All right, and there's the stats. Cool. And then, let's see what that looks like now. Well, I haven't really done anything else with it. Let me really quickly... Um, do a header here. I'm going to put this on visual. So I'm up here where you actually type the stuff. Say this is the demo page. Um, watch below. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and change this to red. Okay, this is pretty basic stuff right here, but we click update. And remember that font that I had specified. Okay, here's the footer text. See that? I'm going to center this just in case that makes a difference. Hit enter, update, refresh. There you go. <laughs> That's cool. All right, now. This is really neat. I'm gonna use this video just for demonstrative purposes and I'm just gonna take this, and you can make the size bigger, but I'm just gonna really quickly snatch this embed code from a video I just uploaded to my YouTube channel. And what I'm gonna do is right here, 
I hit enter once and then I just put some X's here. Okay, that way it's just easier for me to find. Then I go to text and here are the X's and I just copy that. And this is some more code. This is really easy, you guys. Just go to the URL, which is the Here's the URL, okay, of my video, and at the very end, it starts with this quotation and it ends with this quotation, okay? You just want to put, and autoplay equals one, and that's going to play the video automatically. I'm going to click update, and let's refresh it and see what it does. It's because, right there. Make sure it's right before the quote and auto play equals one. Okay, now it's gonna work. There it is. From Kansas City, and I did. So did you notice that my little thingy also jumped a little bit because I set it up to do that? Watch it right here. Boing boing. From Kansas City. So this is really cool. I mean, you can make this bigger or smaller or what have you. Now. If you want to go to, if you want to, after they opt in, you want it to go to another page that looks like this. For example, what I've done with this one. This one has, here is a video where it shows me giving my testimonial. They can go ahead and join now, or if they want to take advantage of one of our trainings, they first have to opt in. What's going to happen is, is once they opt in, it automatically takes them to the first training that we offer. And then they have the opportunity to join us, okay? Now, as you can see, the opt-in is not here. And what is what I do is, all you do, guys, is you go back to the page, and you have to be in text mode. So anywhere down here, all you do is you just, you just copy and paste this code that I will put right below this video if this is on my YouTube channel, or it's also going to be in our back office of our training. And all you do is... You just copy and paste this code and you just place it down here anywhere on this page and you won't even see it. I got some this code. I'm on the visual. I just hit enter a couple times, make my X's, go over to text, go to where my X's are, and I just copy this snippet of code, okay? And you won't even see it, okay? I'm going to click update. All right. So here is the video with, you know, prompting them, you know, telling them with a call to action to opt in below. And then now you don't want this to be appearing. So this is what it will look like. Let me show you. Boom, it's gone. Okay. So that's all you do, guys. It's that easy. So I hope you enjoy this. I hope you get a lot out of this. Go ahead and use it to your heart's content and let me know if you have any questions and guys if you are not part of our marketing group you've got to consider if you want to take your business to the next level we've got some awesome tools that we are giving you or you get access to that will help your business take it to the next level we help you improve your professionalism we brand you we teach you how to brand yourself we teach you how to effectively find qualified leads and how to effectively close them and get them to want to join your business so you are meant for greatness i really appreciate you watching this video and we will talk to you later bye